It is known as the toughest day in North American rallying, the Lincoln Electric Rally of the Tall Pines. Good luck, you're heading out there. For over 50 years, the combination of fast roads, unpredictable weather, and huge jumps have resulted in some of the biggest triumphs yes. and hardest failures in the sport. Skill and talent are just part of the equation. Endurance and intelligence are key. Success and heartbreak live side by side on these stages. And it's anyone's guess which will prevail until the very last kilometer. The penultimate round of the 2023 Canadian Rally Championship starts now. Bancroft, Ontario spends most of the year as a hub in cottage country, but this weekend, rally teams and fans have taken over to fill the forest with excitement. The roads are fast and tricky, but the drivers are ready to put on a show. It's probably the most difficult event of the season. There's snow, there's slush, there's ice, there's gravel, there's everything. The recipe is just to be smart and uh, to make it to the end. Ça va vraiment être un, un rallye euh, de survie, je pense. Celui qui va faire le moins d'erreurs, c'est lui qui va, qui va terminer premier euh, ce soir. Fait que c'est notre approche. On essaie de ne pas faire d'erreurs au minimum, puis euh, espérer, espérer se rendre euh, à la fin de la journée. It's very icy and no studded tire, so it adds up more on to the skill drive and who's the most intelligent at the end of the day. Uh, I would be really pumped up if it was a gravel event, but uh, I don't know. I'm not. Uh, I'm not too excited about this uh, high stuff. So I guess we'll see. Chris Greenhouse is within sight of his first two-wheel drive championship, but crazy Leo Erlichich is back on the stages and could make things complicated. Well, I'm not really sure what's going to happen because there's this guy named Leo that come over here, and. I don't know where he came from. He's been out of it for a long time. He's done very well in all-wheel drive, and now he's come down into two-wheel drive. I don't know. Maybe he got abducted by aliens or something, but he thinks he's just going to come right back into two-wheel drive and go against me in the Neon SRT4. Yeah, that's the reason why they call him Crazy Leo. 26 teams will face nearly 200 kilometers of stages in one brutally long day of rallying. A flash freeze has made the road slick with ice, and the fast cars will struggle to stay on the road, let alone put the power down. The Canadian Rally Championship is presented by Subaru Canada. With no intention of heading west to the final round of the championship, this is the last chance for the defending champions, Jerome Mayu and Philip Poirier, to land a good result this season. To say that 2023 has been a disaster for this team would be an understatement, but they're off to a fast start today, setting a pace that shows they've still got the speed to win. Points leaders Jean-Sébastien Besner and Yvonne Joyal have never faced conditions like these in their new car and are struggling to find the right combination of technique and setup to maximize their pace. Besner and Joyal are too experienced to take risks this deep into the season and know that Mayu is no factor in the points race. Through the first two stages, they give up a handful of seconds to Mayu, keeping their focus on staying ahead of championship rivals Alexander Moreau and Ian Guité. After their huge crash in October at Rally Charleroi, it's a miracle that Moreau and Guité are able to be here at all. Their crew pulled out all the stops and worked many all-nighters to put their Subaru WRX STI back in fighting form, but it isn't perfect. Their hopes of closing the points gap to Besner dies with a failing fuel pump. The duo struggled just to finish stages, dropping to 19th place. Marc-André Brisebois and Marie-France Demaray Trepigny had to skip Rally Charleroi after a successful run at Rally des Fee and are hoping for another podium finish this weekend. This rally has been good to them in the past, but they are already battling with Tall Pine specialists Jeremy Drake and Derek Jackson. Drake uses his experience on these roads to edge out Brisebois by a few seconds on each of the early stages, but both teams know it is far too early for big risks. 
If someone told you that Crazy Leo was going to come out of a two-year hiatus, drag a 23-year-old, 106-horsepower front-wheel drive Focus out of mothballs, miss Shakedown, and then challenge for stage wins, would you believe them? The scores don't lie. They're fourth fastest on stage one, third fastest on stage two, and second fastest overall on stage three. Hold on to your seat, co-driver Sam Roxon, because the Crazy Leo roller coaster is just getting warmed up. Chris Greenhouse and Ryan Scott have been blindsided by Leo's speed. They're quickly up to their usual class-winning pace, setting top 10 stage times regularly, but are rapidly losing ground to the old focus. Right over crest in a very late five left. Keep in. Greenhouse keeps his eyes on the ultimate prize. He needs to finish this rally to win his first championship, and he won't do that if he chases Crazy Leo into a ditch. After four stages, Mayu leads Besner by 40 seconds, and Crazy Leo rounds out the top three ahead of Drake and Brisebois. Greenhouse is in sixth, but is already two minutes behind Leo in two-wheel drive. A quick service stop, and then the classic Ironbridge Spectator stages are coming up at the Lincoln Electric Rally of the Tall Pines. Welcome to your 20-minute high-intensity workout. Pick up the cadence, regulate your breathing. Get ready for a climb, let's go. Okay, push it on the flats. Pick a number and get after it. Recovery in three, two, one. The all new WRX. The teams have arrived for service at the Lincoln Electric Rally of the Tall Pines. Ça va super bien matin. Euh, on a une approche conservatrice, puis je pense que c'est la bonne approche là, pour les, les conditions qu'on qu a. Je pensais que ça allait être plus glissant que ça, mais c'est quand même pas si mal là, quand les, les, les sections euh, plus glacées sont, sont bien notées, là, ce qu'on avait fait. fait que, pour l'instant, ça va, ça va super bien, puis on va, euh, on va continuer sur ce beat-là. I think this, the word slippery ain't enough to describe uh, how the roads are right now. I lowered the boost, I've lowered, lowered the suspension just to uh, you know, make steps ahead. So it's very slippery, very not uh, an easy ride. Problème de pompe à gaz, on a vécu ça hier, on a mis une neuve hier soir au shakedown. Puis euh, le même problème, puis on prend pas de chance, on charge le filage, on met un alternateur neuf, pompe neuve, euh, filtre à neuf, puis on souhaite, puis on se croise les doigts qu'on qu soit capable d'en revenir. Là. On a perdu beaucoup de temps, là. le trois quarts du rallye n'est pas fait encore, fait que tout est possible. Crazy Leo Erlichich isn't just leading two-wheel drive, he's doing things that seem impossible in the old Ford Focus. It's just good pace notes and good driving. Not, nothing magical, just drive fast. Have the good brake balance because that sets you up for the corner and trust the notes. It is a long event, there's a long way to go, but we're gonna push absolutely to the maximum every corner because we care about the fun. Results, who cares? I gotta tell you, when he got abducted by those aliens, whatever they did to him while he was in the spaceship seems to be working. I just can't seem to match the pace. So. Any horsepower advantage that we would have had in this car is completely nullified today. Very slick conditions and uh, yeah, we're, we're on a level playing field with any of the non-turbo cars for sure. Service complete, the teams head back out to impress the fans lined up at the iconic Iron Bridge Spectator stage. Test racing's Jerome Mayu and Philip Poirier are maintaining the same fast pace that they set early on but are now coming under fire from Jean-Sebastien Besner and Yvonne Joyal. The defending champions refuse to be baited, knowing that the coming night stages will shake things up. Besner's team made a few setup adjustments based on what happened in the first loop, and it's paying off. Besner starts winning stages, pulling back time for Mayu on stages five and six, closing the gap to just under 15 seconds. Crazy Leo Erlichich is continuing his ballistic pace through the stages and is still leading two-wheel drive. But he and co-driver Sam Roxon have been assessed a three-minute transit penalty from the first loop of stages, knocking them down the order to ninth overall, now less than 30 seconds ahead of Chris Greenhouse and Ryan Scott. That was a biggie, yep. Middle over jump, 65. Middle left over, big jump into crest, down, 50. 
The two-wheel drive points leaders push harder in the second loop, but then experience a wake-up call just before reaching the iron bridge. Three right minus narrow bridge. Keep clutch in. Oh, sh These guys are giving us a shove. The Dodge is quickly pushed back onto the stages by Subaru Canada executives who were spectating. The mistake cost Greenhouse the chance to overtake Crazy Leo. Nicholas Laverdier is keeping his right foot planted, but the duel ahead is leaving him and co-driver Marc-Olivier Lamontagne behind. At the top, in the battle for third, Jeremy Drake and Derek Jackson have lost some ground to Marc-Andre Brisebois and Marie-France Demaray Trepanier. Although Drake has managed to keep it out of the ditches, a couple of mistakes have cost him 30 seconds on stage five, allowing Brisebois to take over third place. Brisebois threads the needle at Ironbridge with skill, and then goes on to open up his lead over Drake by another 20 seconds on stage six. Besner and Joyal are now on maximum attack, and edge out Mayu and Poirier for the lead by the end of stage seven. However, the usually steadfast Fiesta develops a frustrating electrical gremlin on stage eight, with the engine dying randomly three times, costing them nearly two minutes. After eight stages, Mayu retakes the lead. Besner hangs on to second, while Brisebois holds off Drake in the battle for third. Crazy Leo is marching back up the leaderboard, leading two-wheel drive in sixth, right behind Trudel. There's still half the rally to go, but the points leader doesn't know if he'll make it to the end. Only in the last stage, the car just stopped three times, and we're just trying to find out, uh, to understand what, what is happening, so I don't have a clue. It's fine otherwise, but the guys will try to, uh, to fix the problem. More stage action from the Lincoln Electric Rally of the Tall Pines is coming up. Welcome back to the Lincoln Electric Rally of the Tall Pines. Many of the veterans of this rally will tell you that when the sun goes down, the real rally begins, and the fans are ready for it. After a season filled with bad luck, the stars have finally aligned for the defending champions, Jerome Mayu and Philip Poirier. They've run fast and drama-free, and the result is an almost two-minute lead. The temperature is now dropping rapidly. Anything that thawed through the day is now refreezing, and Mayu shifts gears to risk management. Jean-Sebastien Besner and Yvonne Joyal are back to winning stages. Their crew diagnosed and repaired a faulty ECU connector to cure the random stalls. There's still half the stages left to run, but clawing back nearly two minutes to Mayu is going to involve major risk, and Besner isn't normally the type to roll the dice. Marc-Andre Brisebois and Marie-France Demaray Trepanier are still working to hold off Jeremy Drake and Derek Jackson. Drake takes Brisebois for a second on stage 9, then stages 10 and 11 are cancelled due to a stuck car on one of the roads. The test racing team then gets a flat on stage 12, costing them even more time. Drake manages to stay clean through the loop and closes the gap to Brisebois back down to just 20 seconds. Leading production class, Vincent Trudel and Michael Shevchik are currently in fifth overall, but are under attack by, you guessed it, crazy Leo Erlichich. He and co-driver Sam Roxon are making impossible lines look easy, and they managed to overtake Trudel for fifth by the end of the loop. If the penalty had not been assessed, they would be in third place overall right now, hunting down Besner and Mayu. Chris Greenhouse and Ryan Scott know that trying to beat Crazy Leo's pace could end their rally in the trees, but they push hard in the evening loop regardless. They post the third fastest overall time on stage 13, only 0.9 seconds off Crazy Leo's time. These were both super slick. Yep. Okay. That was an added note. That's okay. Slippy four left. Clawing their way back up the order, Alexander Moreau and Ian Guité have moved up into seventh place, just high enough to keep Besner from locking up the championship. They know they can't catch the leaders at this point, but are trying to force the championship to the final round. 
The cancelled stages keep Besner from closing the gap to Mayu by more than a handful of seconds. Brisebois is just ahead of Drake in the battle for third, while Crazy Leo is up to fifth overall with two and a half minutes over Greenhouse in two-wheel drive. Teams arrive for the final service at the Lincoln Electric Rally of the Tall Pines. Ouais, ça va vraiment bien. On garde quand même conservatrice là. On va pas faire d'erreurs. Les conditions sont assez dures à juger. La noirceur, là, on, on voit plus les, les, les surfaces aussi bien que dans le jour. Fait que on prend pas de risques. Ça va, ça va super bien. Là. On, a, on a réussi à s'échanger quelques temps là, avec euh, avec Bessner. Ça va super bien. It was not a bad loop actually. Uh, um, surprisingly, I made some very good times and we fixed the car. So uh, it was just a stupid thing. Uh, just a, a connector into the main ECU was loose. So that's why the car was, I mean, just stopping in the, in, in the stage. And then I lost a minute 20 or something like that. But uh, yeah, three short stages to go. Not really easy. We don't know what to expect at this time of the night. I'll take a second place. That will be good. I gotta tell you, I'm surprised I got this far. We had a few very, very, very tense moments out there on the very slick stages. Uh, okay, so we have uh, another loop coming. It's a short loop. Probably holding position is just gonna be the order of the day. We're not a threat to get first, and third is not a threat to get us. The best thing to do, hold position, and take those championship points. With the minimum things we can change on the car, just one way adjustable dampers and brake bias, that's it. Even changing brake bias a little bit more to the front on gravel versus ice, even that's fun to play with. It's good, it's good. Also, obviously, with Sam, it's harder for him. He's not very experienced. Harder at night. Yeah, and on the middle of Hastings, which is, in my opinion, the jumpiest piece of road in, in North American rallying, we were only two tenths of a second uh, to ourselves between the day and the night. It's the final loop of stages at the Rally of the Tall Pines when we come back. Welcome to your 20-minute high-intensity workout. Pick up the cadence, regulate your breathing. Get ready for a climb, let's go. Okay, push it on the flats. Pick a number and get after it. Recovery in three, two, one. The all-new WRX. The final loop of stages at the Lincoln Electric Rally of the Tall Pines is about to begin. The Canadian Rally Championship is presented by Subaru Canada. With nearly a two-minute lead over Besner, Jerome Mayu and Philip Poirier plan to end this rally the way they started it, in command. This is the kind of performance we expect from this duo. The perfect balance of speed and risk management resulting in a winning pace regardless of conditions. This is what wins championships. Jean-Sebastien Besner and Yvonne Joyal have their confidence back in their new car. But with nearly two minutes between them and Mayu, the veterans know that hitting the top spot on the podium would take a miracle. But with Moreau back up to seventh, they need to win to lock up the 2023 championship today. Besner knows that the risk is too great and the roads are too slick to make the attempt, and they settle for second place points. By contrast, Jeremy Drake and Derek Jackson have the podium in sight and nothing to lose. They push hard on the penultimate stage of the rally and carve Brisebois' lead back down to just two seconds. Marc-André Brisebois and Marie-France Demarie Trepigny find more speed on the last stage, posting the second fastest overall time, but Drake's attack ends with a minor off-road excursion, costing him all his prior gains. Brisebois takes third, Drake settles for fourth. Alexander Moreau and Ian Guité were in 19th place as of Stage 3, but they fought hard through the rally, keeping their championship hopes alive with a 7th place finish. That's enough points to force the title decision to the final rally of the season. Mm -hmm. 
Vincent Trudell and Michael Shevchik already have the production all-wheel drive class under control, but they'd love to overhaul crazy Leo Erlichich and Sam Roxon for fifth overall. They know their best bet is to drive the remaining stages as clean as possible and hope Leo's pace can't last. But the exact opposite is happening. Crazy Leo somehow manages to wring even more speed out of the little front-wheel drive focus and posts the overall fastest time on the penultimate stage of the rally, closing to within 18 seconds of Drake in fourth. Then, proving it wasn't a fluke, he wins the last stage of the rally, finishing only eight seconds behind fourth place. An unbelievable drive, we hope, signals Crazy Leo's return to the stages in Canada. There's winning stages, and then there's winning titles. Chris Greenhouse and Ryan Scott have sprayed champagne at many events in Canada, but the ultimate prize has eluded them. Until today. Second place makes them the 2023 two-wheel drive Canadian Rally Champions. Nicholas Laverdier and Marc-Olivier Lamontagne played it smart through the whole rally, looking for a strong finish. They avoided being baited into chasing other cars into the ditch and are rewarded with third place in the two-wheel drive class. But the day belonged to Mayu and Poirier, who led almost from the start to the finish of this 20-hour day of rallying. Mayu wins the Lincoln Electric Rally of the Tall Pines, with Besner and Brisebois rounding out the podium. Crazy Leo Erlichich wins the two-wheel drive class and would have been third overall except for the penalty. Moreau's seventh place is enough to force the championship to the final round, but with a 20-point gap, he needs to win and hope Besner finds the wrong side of a snowbank. Chris Greenhouse locks up his first two-wheel drive championship. Du début à la fin, on a gardé le même rythme. Pas fait aucune erreur. On était dû pour une victoire, au moins terminée, là, sans, sans gros bris. Là, fait qu'on on est vraiment content. Je pense que c est, c est, ça, va, ça va tirer le, le, la fin de notre saison à ce rallye-là. Au moins, on a pu finir ça sur une belle note, puis euh, on va voir pour l'an prochain. My plan was to be very cautious, which I was, I would say, during all the event. And I'm two points short for the championship. If Alex uh, going out west, well, at Big Wine, the call is between his ends. So if he go, I'll go, for sure. The guys pushed hard and Leo was coming too. We were pretty lucky that they canceled the last stage, but... It was nice for us. Yeah, it was <laughs> nice for us, so we're going to take it for sure, because uh, all day we did great. Hammer down and we, we were able to make it, so very happy with the results. It feels like we want more stages. It's awesome, I mean, love it, like, love it, love it, love it. Light car is, is, gives you another level of commitment, you know? It doesn't have the power, so you have time, more time to think about stuff, and when you make a little mistake, you can adjust the line much easier. And I mean, now with more options of affordable cars, for sure you're gonna see me on the stages a bit more often. Chris Greenhouse fought hard all season for this moment. I've been trying for this for years and years and years, and we finally did it. Uh, I gotta give credit to Leo. Uh, whatever those aliens did for him at, during the time that he was abducted seemed to work very well. Made him very fast two-wheel drive. Fought a good battle, and he took this battle from me. Uh, he, he got this one, but uh, the war was ours. 2023 national champions in two-wheel drive. With the champagne flying at the end of the toughest day in Canadian rallying, some are left basking in the glow of success, while others shift their focus to the next rally, just two weeks away. Besner has a big lead, but Moreau is still in the hunt, and both want to add their names to the Fiddler Cup. Don't miss the Big White Winter Rally, the finale of the 2023 Canadian Rally Championship.